live and today I'm going to show you how I made a little card and I guess I'm kind of out of the screen here trying to scooch this up a little uh, a little card and a tag with the stars at night stamp set bundle uh, this is one of the bundles that is in the current mini catalog that will be ending here very soon well kind of soon <laughs> on January 3rd is the last day oh, to order from this catalog sorry wiggling stuff all over the place and um so yeah, to, that will be the last time. And actually, this um, stamp set is not on sale, but the dies and embossing folder, it's a hybrid embossing folder, which of course I didn't use the embossing folder today, but there's a hybrid embossing folder that goes with the set of dies. You get them both together when you order the hybrid embossing folder, and it's on sale for 30% off while supplies last. So that's kind of why I figured I'd showcase it again today, um, just to make sure you all knew that and to go grab it if you don't have it. It's actually a better deal to purchase the individual stamp set and the dies rather than the bundle while the sale is going on. So um, keep that in mind as you're putting in your order. Um, hopefully that all makes sense. So, but yeah, go check out the retiring list um, and, and this uh, bundle is on it. So I see Robin and Danette and Karen and Judy and Carol and Carol and Pam and Marilyn and Barbara are all here. So thanks everybody for joining. Um, if you've looked in the Stampin' Up! catalog, you may recognize this catalog or this card or a version of this card. I changed it up a little bit so that I'm using supplies that are actually available still. So I thought I'd show you how I did it. Um, and I changed also my original one. I think that this panel is too wide. At least that was my personal opinion. After I get it all done, I'm like, it's too wide. So I made it a little narrower. So I'll show you a slightly different version that I'm gonna make and you can decide which one you like better <laughs> once it gets all done and put together. So, hey, uh, Ginger, I see you're here and Quinn and Roxanne and Ruth Ann, um, Carol, Kathleen, Kathy, everybody, thanks. Thanks for hopping in and um, glad y'all are here. So I can't believe we're, what, a two days, day and a half from Thanksgiving. Uh, hopefully everybody's preparation is going well. Um, and there's a little tag that coordinates with it too here. So. Hey, Julianne, glad you're joining from Iowa today. So uh, stamp set, Stars at Night. This is, the again, the bundle. And like I said, if you're going to buy it right now, if you don't have it yet, don't buy it bundled. Buy the stamp set and then buy the hybrid embossing folder on sale for 30% off. It's a better deal. And yay, 30% off. <laughs> so, all right. And again, like I said, this actually comes with an embossing folder, a 3D embossing folder. I didn't use it on this project, but just know that that comes with it. So, all right. Um, lots of pretty images, some pretty sentiments. So just a good one, overall good one for the holidays. And then we have got our little die set. And again, this is actually um, when you use the hybrid embossing folder, it embosses these absolutely beautiful stars and it cuts them at the same time. So that's a very cool thing. I think I did that in maybe in a short video. I can't remember if I've used it in a regular video or not, but I know I've got some videos where I've shown it. So um, this is the Stars at Night die set. So we're gonna be using that to make the layered stars. And then I also also use the Night Divine stamp set. I use the little joy and peace um, uh, sentiment here on my card front. And yeah, and just basically because I like the way it fit, you can use the other sentiments or other <laughs> stamp set if you want to. Uh, but this one is also a nice one. And this one is also retiring as well as the die set that goes with it. So if you don't have it, just go grab all this because you're going to love it. And yeah, you'll have fun using it. Um, I did use the tailor-made tags. That is what I cut my um, tag out with, the coordinating tag here. And I just used the largest of the more rectangular looking um, tag dies on that. Again, these are called tailor-made tags and they are in the current annual catalog. And then this is the Wonderful Thoughts dies. These are actually designed to cut out some stamp sentiments in the Wonderful Thoughts stamp set, but I'm actually using this little one here and it works perfectly with the joy and peace sentiment from the Night Divine stamp set. So I see B is here and Penny. So thanks everybody for joining today. And if I think I said hi to Julianne, Mary Ellen, um, hopefully I didn't miss anybody else. All right, a couple things before we get going. Um, I am, I've got, hey Mary, thanks for joining. So I've got a double reward, reward points ordering bonus going on right now. It's a little early Black Friday gift for me. So for any order of $50 or greater that you place through my online store between today and uh, next week, Monday, the 27th, which is Cyber Monday, I figured I'd run it all the way through there. You're going to get double reward points. So how my reward points work is you get one point for every $50 that you spend in an order. Um, so one, $50 gets you one point. Um, $100 gets you two, $150 purchase gets you three points. And then for my ordering special, you actually get twice. <laughs> so you're going to get two points for 50, four points for 100, um, 
six points for 150. And then once you collect eight points, you get a free $40 order of your choice from me. So there you go. Let me know if you have questions on that. Um, again, uh, just doing it as a little early Black Friday bonus and to kick off the Last Chance Products retiring list that is going and is live today too. So um, yeah, you, you, it is a pretty, it is a good day. So <laughs> a good day to put in an order with the Last Chance Products going on and a few things on sale on the list as well. Um, then one last thing to remind you, when you're out putting in your orders, make sure you take a peek at the online exclusive section of the online store. Um, it's out there underneath the menu and then right up there towards the top, it says online exclusives. If you click on there, there are a huge pile of items in there and they are only available online in the online exclusive. So you're not going to find them in any catalog and they kind of come and go. Um, so if there are items you want when you're out there looking, grab them up because they may not be available for the next time. So, all right, that's it for the little announcements. Let's get going on the card. So, um, like I said, in the um, original one that they have in the Stampin' Up! catalog, they used the Oh Holy Night designer series paper. And as most of you know, if you've been looking at the list, that one's already sold out. So, I thought the um, Winter Meadow paper, which is beautiful and is carrying over, so yay, it'll be around, <laughs> is actually a very good alternative. It's got really similar colors in it. Um, this one is mostly blueberry bushel, so I went with that rather than Night of Navy for the base color in here. But it's a beautiful dark blue, and to me, kind of looks like the sky. So that was, I thought it was you know, a great option if you're sad about the Oh Holy Night paper being gone. Pick up a pack of this, because it'll be around for a while. Um, blueberry bushel ink, and I've got, this is the, one of the little star dies from the um, Stars at Night stamp set. And we're just gonna take that, and I should have explained what I did here in the background. And we are gonna stamp this all around here on this piece of designer series paper that I had previously cut with one of the Stars at Night dies. So, and I'll show you that die in a second, because I got busy yakking and talking about <laughs> um, paper and forgot to tell you what I'd actually done. Um, so I did cut the center out of this with, again, one of the stars at night dies, and I'll show you which one here in just a second. And I'm just sort of randomly stamping and flipping this um, star image right side up, upside down, kind of stamping it all over on the panel. Again, not really any specific way to stamp it, just sort of randomly. Randomly. Let me close that up. Um, the die that I used from the stars at night hybrid embossing folder is this one. And it's kind of cool because it, it just cuts basically a hole in your cardstock. And then you can layer things underneath it however you want to. So, all right, set that aside. And then I've got a little piece. This is cut to about two and a half by about two and a half. And it is from the silver foil sheets. And this is one of the items that is one of the online exclusives as well. Um, so you can go out and grab this from the online exclusives. It's a three pack of the um, silver foil sheets. There's this one and then hopefully you can tell there's a little difference here. Um, this star on here, the, the kind of taller pointed one, is cut from a different piece from that foil pack. It's a little darker and it's got a little bit of texture on it. And again, I don't know how well it shows up in um, the video, but you can see it in the pictures that I'll post in my blog tomorrow. So, all right, so let me grab um, a little bit of Stampin' Seal and we will go ahead and stick that to the back of the designer series paper panel. And we don't need to put like tons and tons of stamp and seal on here. Okay, let's roll, there we go. Um, and have a huge pile of sticky, yucky, whatever on the back of here. It just needs to be enough basically to hold, hold it together. And we'll lay that down and I'm just gonna lightly tack it and make sure that I've got all the little holes filled with silver foil, which it looks like I do. And now I'm gonna smush it down a little bit to make sure that it's stuck down well. So there you go. Oh, thanks, Tina, I appreciate that. All right, so we've just got that stuck on the back of the designer series paper that I had cut with the die. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of the stamp and seal and we are gonna run it around the edge here of the designer series paper. And the original designer series paper on my first card, I'd cut to three and three quarters by five and a half. I cut this one down to three and a half by five and a half because I thought it needed a wider border on the card. So again, when we get them all done, you can let me know your opinion on it and whether you think it, <laughs> the wider border is needed or not. Um, I'm sure, either way, I'm sure it will work. But once I got it kind of laid out and put together, I'm like, oh, I think I should have made the border wider and kind of regretted not doing it. But we'll see what it looks like when we get it all put together. So I am adhering that. Again, this one's about three and a half inches by five and a half inches. And I have adhered it to a piece of blueberry bushel cardstock that is about um, three and five eighths by five and a half. So, 
Oh, thanks, Rosie. Uh, again, just using a little stamp and seal, and we're gonna take that, and we are gonna adhere it to the front of a uh, crumb cake card base. I need lots of the snail adhesive for the next few days. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I know, I'm telling you. I've, I'm feeling a little the same way. It's been kind of a crazy week, and <laughs> yep, it's the holidays. What can we say? So, all right, so I'm sticking that to the front of a crumb cake card base. Um, this card front or card design will work with either your top fold card like I've used. This one is cut to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half across the top. Um, it'll also work with your standard book fold card. So if you prefer the... Um, eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter down the side. This will work just perfectly with that as well. So you can pick your favorite card base. I like the top folds better. So that's what I tend to do. Um, and I didn't have any card stuck cut the other way. So that's why you get stuck with seeing this one again. All right. So let me grab some of these star die cuts here and I will tell you what I've done with all of these. So again, these are from the stars at night dies and let me grab the die set and bring it over here. So this is the large die that I cut. Again, this is a silver foil that matches the foil that's that I actually stuck to the back. So this is a little bit, um, kind of the more traditional silver foil is what I would call it in the pack. And then I use this die in here, which is kind of the tall and skinny star. I use that one to cut the um, more textured and a little darker silver foil. And then I have from basic white, I've cut a star with, this star die, which is, it's kind of, I don't know, kind of a square looking star, if that makes sense. It's a little more even around the edges. And then the final star that I cut, again, is from the same kind of more basic silver foil. And I just use this one. These are the same die, so I just use that one to cut it. And that's all we're going to use for layering up the star. And again, I totally stole the star layering from the um, card that Stampin' Up! had put <laughs> on their in their catalog so the layering is all them and oh my I've only got one glue dot left on here so we're not going to get very far with this box of glue dots I will grab the other one here in a second um, so I'm going to take this this is my kind of tall and pointy star this is my um, kind of background is what I will call it star and I'm just going to layer these one over the top of the other here with a little mini glue dot. If you prefer liquid glue, that will also work. Um, I just like mini glue dots better because I tend to make a mess with liquid glue. And so anytime I can use glue dots instead of liquid glue, I certainly do. Um, this one I'm gonna take and layer over the top here as well. So again, this is the basic white star. And we're just gonna take that and line it up in the center of my um, silver, the kind of tall pointy silver foil star. And then I'm gonna take my final little star and again, just grab a little glue dot and stick it over the top. And these are pretty easy to center and layer one over the top of the other, especially if you use the glue dots or um, liquid glue. So uh, camera's very blurry. Um, it looks fine for me, Ruth Ann, so perhaps um, thinking it might be your internet um, connection, so maybe try going out and coming back. I don't see anybody else complaining that it's blurry, so I think it might be your connection. So, all right. Um, all right, then I'm going to grab a couple Stampin' Dimensionals. These are my chopped in half Stampin' Dimensionals. If you prefer the whole ones, you certainly can do that. Um, I just like the half ones. So, okay, good. I'm glad it's, it's working well for everybody else. So like I said, I think Ruth Ann just tried going out and coming back and sometimes that'll fix it. All right, so I've got uh, my little stamp of dimensionals I've got stuck on the back here. And then I'm just gonna take this and kind of line it up as best I can, relatively centered over the little um, die cut that I've got on the background. And it, again, it's not gonna probably be, probably be perfect, but it doesn't need to be. So there we go. We're gonna smoosh that down. Then I've got some little die cuts here that are from the silver foil sheets as well. And they're from the more kind of traditional looking silver foil sheets. And this little trio die is the one that I cut. I use this cut twice from the silver foil sheets and I got six of the little stars. And now we all have to take a deep breath because I'm gonna try with liquid glue to not glue myself to the card front <laughs> as you guys laugh. Um, Cause yeah, I probably will. All right, so I'm gonna use my tweezers because that helps me to get a little less gluey, although sometimes still it doesn't do all of the trick. <laughs> so got a little dot of glue that I put on the back of this star. I'm gonna stick that little one down there and I can already see, see this is why liquid glue and I do not get along because it, yeah, <laughs> I end up with glue globbed everywhere. I just make a mess. 
I should have put adhesive sheets on the back of it, but I didn't think of doing that until after I got them all die cut. And then I'm like, Ugh, whoops, <laughs> liquid glue to the rescue. So, all right, then I'm going to grab, see, see what happens. I start talking and then I totally lift up my finger and then see what I said about gluing myself to the project. I can't even tell you how many times I have done that. <laughs> so you all can laugh with me, at me, whatever, because <laughs> I'm laughing over here. So... All right, so I'm gonna take this and uh, put a little, hopefully small dot of glue on the back of that and stick it over here along with the other two and try not to glue myself to it. So, all right, then I've got the other bigger star here. I'm gonna take that and stick it up here on the corner. Thankfully, once I get these um, six little stars stuck on here, I don't have any more liquid gluing thank goodness, <laughs> that I'll have to do so you won't have to watch me um, stick everything to myself. Come on. There we go. Come on. There it is. Ay. Some days fingers work better than others. Today is not a good day for the fingers, I guess. All right. A little bit of liquid glue. Again, probably too much on that one. Stick the little star here. Try not to glue myself to the paper. Pick up the final star and we'll be done with this part. Thank goodness. Um, and I was using the glue, laid your silicone mat on top of it. Oh, that's awesome. So it kind of took the rest, the excess glue. That's a good idea, Rosie. I'll have to give that a try. Like I said, liquid glue and I are just not friends. I don't know. I, every once in a while, I start to think maybe we can be friends. And then I have a moment like this where I'm gluing myself to the, the project. And then I think, no, no, we can't be. <laughs> so, all right, done with the messy part. I'm going to set it aside and let the glue dry, hopefully, before I knock anything else off or stick anything else to me. Um, and then we're going to stamp the sentiment. So um, then I've got a piece of blueberry bushel cardstock here. And I'm going to grab my little embossing buddy and I'm just going to run it over the top of the blueberry bushel cardstock because it's getting to be that time of year where a little more static electricity in the air and the little bits of uh, embossing powder stick everywhere. They shouldn't. And then I've got the uh, sentiment from the um, Night Divine stamp set and it's the Joy and Peace one. Just going to stamp it in Versamark ink right here in the middle of that piece of cardstock. Close that up before I go to the next step because embossing powder does not, the Inversamark ink pads do not get along very well uh, when you mix the two. Again, ask me how I know because I've made a mess of them. <laughs> and I've got silver embossing powder from the uh, Metallics embossing powders. It is a, see, and I just, I laughed when I was putting that on and now I've got silver embossing powder everywhere. I'm a mess today. <laughs> I'm gonna close that up before I do it again. So, all right. Metallics embossing powders. It is a trio, and I better knock all the embossing powder off of there. Golly. All right. <laughs> I'm going to turn on the uh, heat tool and try not to make a mess of that. Um, Stampin' Up's heat tool has two settings on it. There's a level one setting for drying and a level two setting for heat embossing. So level one setting you can use for things like um, water coloring, anything like that um, that you want to do that want to speed up the drying process a little bit. Or, and then the level two setting gets a little hotter and you can heat emboss with it, but it does take just a second for the heat tool to heat up warm enough to actually emboss. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just yakking a little bit while I'm letting it heat up. So you haven't started your Christmas card yet, Karen? My goodness. I actually, I think probably tonight or tomorrow should have mine all done. So yay. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to heat emboss the um, silver here, the sentiment. There we go. And then once it kind of turns smooth and shiny like that, then you know that it is done heating. Um, don't overheat it because you can actually burn it and then give it just a second once you're done heating it to cool off so that you don't accidentally smear it because you can do that as well. Then I'm gonna grab my um, Wonderful Thoughts dies and I'm gonna take this die in particular and uh, gonna run this through the die cutting machine so I'll be off screen for just one second. And yeah, France, I'm with you. I'm trying, so I always try my hardest to get them done before Thanksgiving because it's such a huge stress. I don't want to have to deal with, with uh, making Christmas cards after Thanksgiving. So. All right, got my little die cut sentiment. And I'm 
going to bring my card base back in here and I'm going to grab a couple Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to stick those on the back of my sentiment. And we're actually almost done with the card front, believe it or not. Just have to put the sentiment on and that is all. So yeah, Fran, you had 200 to make. I actually have about 350 in total. Now I will be honest and say that my sister is here. She comes in for Thanksgiving every year and she does volunteer to help me finish up the last batch of them that I'm making. So that's why I'm saying hopefully tonight, maybe tomorrow we'll be done. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so that's it for the card front. So super simple. And again, this is the um, Winter Meadow Designer Series paper. So it's actually still available. So um, that's pretty awesome. All right. Um, then I've got a piece of basic white cardstock that I'm going to use for the inside of the card. And again, the sentiment is from the Stars at Night stamp set. It's the kind of rounded along, on the top. It says, wishing you the best and brightest holiday season. And we are going to stamp that in blueberry bushel ink on a piece of basic white cardstock. Basic white is cut to about four by five and a quarter. There we go. And then close that up. And I'm going to grab the little star image. Um, and then smoky slate ink. And this is a little different star image than I used on the front of the card. And we're just gonna stamp that once in smoky slate ink over here. And then a second time, I'm gonna flip it upside down and stamp it right over here. And that's gonna be it for the inside of the card. I told you this one was really easy. <laughs> so I'm all about that as I get towards the end of the card making, I'm like, man, these need to be quick, easy and be done. So, all right. Going to go ahead and use a little stamp and seal to stick this to the inside of the card base. Make sure I get the corner here all covered. And there we go. Get it lined up and fairly straight. Stick it inside the card and then I'm going to grab my bone folder and do a crease across the top. And that's it for the card. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is I've got a little tag and again the layering for the stars is the same that I had cut before so it's the same exact star only I didn't cut the kind of um, star burst look for the background of it so I just am going to do a little tag here instead and I'm going to start with the Merry Christmas sentiment and again this is from the stars at night stamp set Versamark ink and I'm going to try not to oh there it is to um, make a big mess like I did with the embossing powder just a second ago. And I'm also gonna take the embossing buddy and run it over the um, designer series paper to try to minimize the um, um, embossing powder. I was gonna call it an embossing folder. And I knew that wasn't the right word, embossing powder from sticking everywhere where I don't want it to be. And again, got my little Merry Christmas sentiment. And we're just gonna stamp it here kind of in the center of, well, lower center of the designer series paper panel. And again, this is that same paper from the Winter Meadow Designer Series paper. So I'm going to open that up. And again, just using my silver embossing powder, sprinkling it over the top of the stamped image and make sure that I got, looks like I missed a little on the S there. I want to make sure that I have it all covered. And I will close this up before I laugh or do anything silly again and fling embossing powder everywhere. Again, just going to turn the heat tool back on and let it heat up a second and then point it towards the card here or towards the um, designer series paper and hopefully it'll start up here fairly quickly there it goes and we'll let it do the little shiny and look all pretty all right make sure it's all embossed and that's it and then i'm just going to give it a second to cool off a little bit to make sure i don't smear it before i move on to the next step and then i have got the tailor-made tags dies and I'm gonna take this one, which is the largest of the kind of more rectangular dies. And I'm gonna put this down a little bit lower here um, because the star does take up quite a bit of space uh, on my tag. So I'm gonna put it down a little lower and then just center the Merry Christmas. And if you want it a little more tilted, you can do it a little more tilted. So you can kind of make this be whatever you want it to be on the bottom of your tag. I kind of like the look of that. So I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna run it through my die cutting machine. So I'll be off screen for just a second. All right, there's my little tag. 
And the next thing I'm gonna grab is that same little set of stars that I stamped all over the card front, and I'm gonna stamp them on my tag as well. The reason that I waited until after I heat embossed the sentiment on here before I stamped on the tag is because um, embossing powder will stick to any wet ink that you have, and it takes the ink a while, like a lot longer than you think it will <laughs> to dry. So um, yeah, if I'd stamped it first and then done the heat embossing on it, it probably would have stuck, um, the embossing powder would have stuck in all kinds of places that we didn't necessarily want it to be. So, all right, I think we will call that good for the stamping on the tag. And again, that was blueberry bushel ink that I used. Then I'm gonna grab, I did again the die cutting ahead of time. So I've got my stars all die cut, plus I cut a little reinforcer for the tag and that is cut from this little die, which is part of the TaylorMade Tags dies. And just when I thought I was done with the liquid glue, I realized I have one more thing. <laughs> Wish me luck. Um, I'll try not to make a big mess of it, but I probably will. So, um, oh, I'm glad y'all are liking the card. So I love silver and blue for the holidays, I think is perfect. Although blue and gold I like as well. So I don't know, I kind of, whatever my color is that I'm using that day, that's the one that I like the best. <laughs> so I think you really, for most color combinations, you really can't go wrong with for the holidays. So, all right, so there we go. Got a little liquid glue and we stuck down the reinforcer for the tag. Now I'm gonna work on my star layering while I give that a second to behave itself and dry. The, where, here are my glue dots. So again, I've cut this from silver foil sheets and this is that, that larger kind of, uh, I don't know, this die from the um, hybrid embossing folder dies. And then I've got this one that I've cut from the darker silver foil. And again, it came from that same die set. I'm just gonna do the same thing, put a little glue dot in the center, and then try to line these up fairly close to center. Smoosh it down. And then I've got my basic white star, same thing. Just gonna take that one, stick a little glue dot, and center it, and stick it down. And then the final one, same thing, just gonna grab my glue dot and um, center it. And then stick it down over the top of the layered dies, die cuts. And then I'm gonna grab Stampin' Dimensionals and stick this um, to the, uh, stick those to the back of the um, star here to put it on my tag. If you prefer the glue dots or Stampin' Seal or whatever and want it to be a little bit flat, you can certainly do that. Do you know if the Falling Snowflake embossing folder is still available? I believe that it is, and um, in the US anyway, at least last time I looked, that doesn't mean that it's available at the very moment. It was last time I looked. That's all I can say. So, all right, got that. And we're gonna stick that down to the um, tag. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of the silver and white half inch, what is it called? Sheer ribbon is the name of it. And I'm just gonna take, um, I don't know, a good size length of it. Mm, probably don't need quite that much. Let me grab my snips here and chop the ribbon. And with ribbon, I usually tend to go a little bit longer with it um, than shorter, because you can always cut it off, but it's really hard to add to ribbon if you've messed it up and cut it too short. And I'm just gonna feed that ribbon through the hole in the tag. I folded it in half, put the fold through the tag, and then, and I totally did it backwards, didn't I? Dang it, I do it every time. <laughs> no, no, it's backwards. So disregard that. So I, I'll start, I folded it in half <laughs> and I tuck, stuck it in from the front, pulling to the back. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. And then I'm gonna take the little tails and we're just gonna tuck them through that loop on the back and then pull them here and tighten it up just a little bit. And then I'll trim these off just a hair because they're a little longer than they need to be. And again, if you like them a little longer, you can leave them that way. If you want them a little shorter, you can trim them off, whatever it is that uh, you like to do best. So that's it. So this is the card and the tag that we made here today. So again, um, the, the hybrid embossing folder is on sale for 30% off while supplies last. So make sure you're getting it ordered because it's beautiful and I don't want you to miss out on it. So, um, 
in the designer series paper. This one's actually carrying forward. This one is called Winter Meadow, and it will be should be available for quite a while. So um, it may kind of come and go, but it definitely will be available. So if you want to get that ordered and make your cards with it, you can do that. So um, again, everybody, thanks so much for joining. I appreciate you all being here. I will be posting all the details for this card on my blog tomorrow, which is stampwithamyk.com. And um, there will be a printable PDF tutorial out there, as well as some pictures and a description and links to all the products that I used to make it. So everything will be there. I will link up directly to the blog post in the morning when it goes live around 8 o'clock Eastern time in the description of the video. So you can come back and look for it then. And then I think that's about it. Um, since we've got, you know, Black Friday is on Friday. Everybody will be out shopping anyway. I am not going to be going live on Friday, but I'll plan to be live around 2 o'clock Eastern time next week, Tuesday. And then the following Friday, I'll plan to be live around 2 o'clock Eastern time out here on YouTube. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, everybody, that's celebrating um, here in the U.S. Hopefully, you all are going to be spending some time with family and friends, eating as much pie as I'm going to be eating, because, yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> the meat and all that, potatoes, yeah, they're all fine. Pie is what I'm here for. So, all right, have a wonderful weekend. Um, enjoy your time with family and friends, and uh, we will chat with you all soon.